was the king of rock and roll. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of Elvis Presley. Elvis Aaron Presley was born on January 8, 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi. His love for music began in elementary school after he received a guitar for his 11th birthday. Following high school, he caught the attention of Sun Records after recording a few songs. The label was looking for a white artist to successfully capture the feel of black music. Elvis proved to be that man during a recording session with two local musicians in 1954. The trio then performed on radio and television and worked on rockabilly recordings. Presley signed with RCA Victor in 1955. The next year, both his first single, Heartbreak Hotel, and his self-titled debut topped the Billboard charts. Elvis Presley became the first rock and roll album to reach this position on Billboard. This was followed by a sexually suggestive performance of the song Hound Dog on the Milton Berle Show. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. And the 1956 best-selling single, Don't Be Cruel. No, I can be found. Presley became a nationally recognized star after appearing on The Ed Sullivan Show that fall. His performance of Love Me Tender led to another number one hit and became the title of his first film later that year. Presley also released his number one sophomore effort, Elvis, in 1956. The next year, he released three number one singles and supported them with live dates that generated near riotous reactions. He continued to act and release the number one soundtracks, Loving You and Jailhouse Rock EP. Rock. 1957's Elvis's Christmas album became history's best-selling holiday record. 1958 began with the number one hit, Don't. A few months later, Presley was drafted and served almost two years in the U.S. Army. During this time, his label released previously recorded material and the film King Creole hit theaters. He goes by the name of King Creole, you know he's gone, 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 jumping like catfish on a pole. Presley returned to the U.S. in 1960 and issued several best-selling singles. Then came the number two album Elvis is Back, the romantic comedy G.I. Blues, and its number one soundtrack. Later that year, he found top 20 success with the gospel record His Hand in Mine and returned to number one with the country rock sound of the Something for Everybody LP. Most of Presley's films from the 1960s were commercially successful musical comedies. If I Falling in love with you. Many of these were also accompanied by soundtrack efforts that spawned several Presley classics. Viva Las Vegas. During this period, Presley also won his first Grammy for the gospel LP How Great Thou Art and married Priscilla Beaulieu, who later bore him his daughter, Lisa Marie. Both the quality of his music and sales began to decrease as his artistic output increased. Things turned around after his successful 1968 television performance, Elvis, where he was back at the top of his game. The special yielded a top 10 soundtrack album and was followed by the critically praised effort from Elvis in Memphis. In 1969, Presley acted in the musical drama Change of Habit and released the double LP From Memphis to Vegas, From Vegas to Memphis. Then came the concert documentary and album Elvis, That's the Way It Is. We can go on together with suspicious minds. After releasing three non-movie albums in 1971, Presley recorded the Grammy-winning gospel LP, He Touched Me. He continued touring and released the successful live effort Elvis, as recorded at Madison Square Garden. 1972's Burning Love was his last U.S. Top 10 pop hit.
1973's Aloha from Hawaii via satellite was Presley's last number one pop album during his lifetime. Meanwhile, an impending divorce and a prescription drug addiction began to affect his health and performances. He continued to tour, however, and even won another Grammy for the concert album Elvis as recorded live on stage in Memphis. Presley released several more albums before his death, and many of these found success mainly on the country and adult contemporary charts. On August 16, 1977, Presley was found dead at his Graceland mansion, likely due to a cocktail of prescription drugs. Shortly thereafter, his current single Way Down hit number one on the country charts. Numerous posthumous releases followed, including 2002's Elvis, 30 number one hits. With his good looks, musical talent, and rebellious image, Elvis Presley defined rock and roll and left an immeasurable impact on popular culture. Your heart, baby,